everyone. Um, today is such a beautiful Monday, and uh, it's um, you know, I I haven't uh, sit and relax for a long time. Um, always on the go, either working or uh, doing some events. So it's been a while that I just sit and don't do nothing. So. Um, out for a bit of fresh air and uh, you know it's it's, uh, it's been a long time that I just sit and do nothing well I'm doing a, a story of the day for you so I am doing something but I'm not busy doing events or I'm not working so sometimes um, you know having downtime is uh, it's really nice and um, yeah so right now I'm just um, holding Theo. Theo is um, and uh, down here I have Peachy. So Peachy is um, under my feet right now, and Peachy is um, Theo's uh, son. việc để dành thời gian với Thì uh, nhiều lúc uh, bạn của Kelly hay là nhiều người nói với Kelly rằng là nên có một ngày đừng có làm gì hết á, nên relax. Nhưng mà tánh của Kelly thì uh, work workaholic cho nên không có ngưng được. Và nhiều lúc mình cũng không biết ngưng như thế nào. And you know, um, nhưng mà có thể là tại vì Kelly thích làm mà thay vì làm thay vì thấy vui cho nên thì thấy thay vì cứ không thích ngồi yên là vậy à, tại vì mình mình cảm thấy rằng là thời gian qua lẻo của các bạn cho nên nếu mà mình phí thời gian mà không làm gì hết á thì à, mình sợ là mình sẽ không còn thời gian làm được những cái việc khác cho nên vì thế à, cứ nghĩ rằng là à, phải phải làm Um, nhưng mà hôm nay uh, là ngày lâu lắm rồi mà Kelly ngồi không làm gì hết So um, it's definitely uh, a downtime And uh, just want to spend as much time as I can with Theo And uh, but he's very obedient. I have a total of five uh, kids. So there was Ellie, there was Cookie, there was Theo, there was Belle, and there's Boon Boon. And then the, the one that is lying on my feet right now is Peachy, which is um, Theo's and Belle's daughter uh, that we kept. Peachy, good girl. And she's staring at me right now. But uh, um, I have five kids, and uh, we've lost Cookie. Uh, uh, we've lost Ellie. So um, we have Boon Boon, uh, Theo, and uh, Belle. But um, soon um, Theo will reunite with. Um, Cookie and Ellie, 
pictures of her. She looks exactly like uh, Theo. Peachy, okay. Good girl. Okay. So this is Peachy right here. Okay. Peachy. Oh, oh. Uh, Peachy is um, here. Peachy. Look, look, look. Peachy. Here, let me move back. There. That's Peachy. She looks like identical with uh, Theo and um, Peachy is uh, about three and a half years old. And um, today we're just enjoying a beautiful Monday. Why do I have so many pets? Well, it's because I can't have kids, so I have dogs. And you know, like, to all the pet owners, like, once you have a dog already, you never feel them as a dog. Like, you feel them as your own children. So, um, you know, they, they are wonderful companions. The breed that I have is um, Bichon Frise. Uh, they are French breed, uh, so you can see that they're all white. Uh, there's a Couton and a Bichon. They're very similar, but uh, the Bichon, they're very curly. The hair is very tight. Uh, so, therefore, right now, Peachy is like shaved down because of the summer. But if you were to let her hair grow, good. If you were to let her hair grow, um, she can get very fluffy. Yeah. Um, she can get very fluffy, so and uh, they're they're very they're hypoallergenic. So even though they have a lot of hair, their hair doesn't shed. So sorry guys, um, their hair doesn't shed. So if you're looking for a dog and you're afraid you have allergies, Bichon Frise are one of the very good breed, uh, one of the best breed actually to have because um, they're hypoallergenic. I have very bad allergies and um, when I, uh, when Chris and I decide to get a puppy, um, Chris researched um, and found out that Bichon Frise, even Poodle breed also are hypoallergenic. So um, you can always find a furry friend that is compatible with you, right? And. Um, you can see that they're all white, very clean, so we keep our kids very clean. Um, our whole family is like clean freaks with our kids, so that's why we see them very white. And um, if Peachy or any Bichon, you let their hair like grow, uh, it's very fluffy and very, very cute. So uh, Peachy is a, a version of Theo and Belle. But uh, I have to say that uh, Theo was one of the most um, handsome Bichon that I've ever seen. Um, you probably see that in his photos that I post. And um, um, even now, like he's, he's uh, almost 14 years old now and he still looks so handsome and so cute. But uh, Dio is just very tired, so he's been sleeping all day. 
and uh, yeah. So if you ever want to get a dog for your kids or just like have a dog as a companion, um, there's a lot of breeds out there so do your research uh, carefully so that you find a breed that is suitable for you. Uh, but um, if you are, uh, have allergies like I do, if you're like sensitive to fur, um, you can try to research up Bichon Frise which is the one that, the breed that I have. Um, they are very good, compassionate, uh, playful, smart, and very good uh, dogs. Right, Peachy? 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 Good girl. Good girl, Peachy. Hi, Pichi. Sam. Hmm. Các vị có chia sẻ là à, cuộc đời này nó là một cái trải nghiệm các bạn. Life is like a journey that everyone uh, seek for love, want to be loved. Uh, and loved back and I find that um, one love that can never uh, go wrong is a love for a pet and um, you know just like humans uh, pets do grow old and they do pass away and um, you know sometimes I feel that you know, we can be selfish and wish for us to, you know, die before our dogs. But you know what? Realistically, I think that I want to uh, live longer than my my dog, so that I can I can say goodbye to them when they leave this world. And um, two of our babies have half which is Cookie and Ellie um, and um, you know I find that like before having these pets I you, you know you never think of the sad times until it comes but you know and some people say you know if you're gonna feel sad to lose a dog why have a dog like like it's not the point of like feeling sad and end up not experiencing life, you know? Like my mother told me this morning that if you have these dogs and you're gonna outlive them and you're gonna see them die, you know, why, why have them? But before I used to feel that way, I used to feel, why have them? If they're not gonna last forever, but you, you you come to realize that it's it's not how long you have them, but what do you feel and what do you experience when you do have them is is what matters. And you know, even though I I will lose them. Um, or they will die before me, but they've given me so many years of love, uh, affectionate companionship, that you know what? It's, it's something that is a memory, a happiness that I wouldn't want to miss out, even if I have to pay the price of losing them. And I think that we have to live through life not being afraid. You know, yes, you gotta live up to the consequences of every actions that you make, but don't let that stop you from experiencing, you know, the best of uh, the best part of life, and that is love. And love come in all forms, guys. It's not just humans to humans. 
but it, it can be with you and a dog, with you and a cat, with you and even like a plant or a tree, like whatever your heart feel the love for and that connection, it's all that matters and um, I had many beautiful years with Cookie and Ellie and I had a beautiful 14 years uh, almost with Theo, so, and um, I've learned to, um, you know, some people feel like, you know, I, when my dog passed, I don't want to be there, I don't want to experience it, but there was a story, let me tell you, I read online, it's a diary of a um, vet. So a, a vet was asked a question like, what is the toughest job about your, uh, what's the toughest thing about your job? So um, that was the question that a vet was asked. And um, he answered, the toughest part of being a vet, a veterinarian, is that when you have to put an animal down, and the owner is not there. Because no matter how gentle and how caring that vet is to your pet, your pet don't know that veterinarian. Your pet don't know that person. That pet only knows you. So when they're at their last moments, they only look for their owner. They only look for their alpha, their, 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 their you. So he says that um, the most painful part of his job is that he has to put uh, animals down while the parents or the dog owner or the pet owner don't want to be there. And he can see that longing and that sadness in the animal's eyes. And you know, he's and that's what he said. He said that's the most painful uh, part of his job. And he recommends that any pet owner not to do that to their pet. If you're going to have them in the most happiest times, and if your dog can be there for you in the toughest time to comfort you, then you need to live up, and you owe them that much to be with them in their last moments because I used to be one of those persons who like you know I don't want to see any of my kids pass away because I don't want to feel sadness that they're leaving me and you know there's nothing wrong with me or whoever thinking that but at the end of the day it is a selfish uh, thinking because you're just thinking for your feeling but imagine if you were dying, who do you want to see? So it took me a long time to realize that concept. And I finally, I finally, um, I finally accept that I have to, sorry guys. you know, like, do what I have to do as a pet owner, um, and this is coming from me who is very, very selfish as a person, um, you know, I, I always say to my family, I want to die before you because I don't want to have to deal with mourning over you, and I don't want to have to feel losing you, so I'm very selfish in that way, like, I can give um, anything, but I just I just can't stand losing my loved ones, and I I tell my family that, and and I used to say that to my dog too, but now I I see so many people telling me about their lost pet. Um, I see you know so many stories 
that um, I came to realize that this is something I owe my my kids, especially Theo. So um, uh, we have an appointment tomorrow. So tomorrow we have an appointment in the morning um, for the uh, the vet to come and um, oh. Oh. you know, guys. Um, I always thought I was a tough cookie. You know what these little furry friends they have something strong like control over you that you cannot you cannot be tough with them and uh, and so um, today it's pretty much my last day with Theo and uh, oh, okay. Today is pretty much um, my last day with Theo and uh, Oh, I just wish time doesn't go so fast guys, you know. Uh, these are the times that you wish time to stay still, you know. But as you get older, honestly, um, when I was young, like when we were all young, we want to be adults. We want to grow up and do adult things. But you know what? Being adult, it sucks. Like I have to say, when I was in my teens, I just like, you know, I, I just can't wait to grow up. But you never realize adults have so many issues that they have to deal with. And now that I'm in my 40s, I'm like, you know what? If I have a choice, I'd rather be a kid again. You know, worry-free and just living your life. And now that you're at my age, you just, you know, you deal with, like, anything in life is so easy to deal, guys. Any conflicts, any, anything, like, any problems in life is, for me, it's not a problem to, to handle. The only thing that is the most painful part of life, which I have to experience, is a loss of a loved one. That is, I'm telling you, if you guys have not lost anyone or never have to go through mourning, I congratulate you because you're lucky that you don't have to go through that. But nothing is more painful, nothing is more devastating in life than to lose someone that you love. And it can be anyone, a person, an animal, anyone. To, to one day wake up and see that they're non-existent. To, to know that you can never see them again. It's the most scariest thing. And you know, in some religion, people believe that, okay, I'll see you again in the next life. I'll see you in heaven. Yep, it's great to think that way because it keeps us calm and sane and not go crazy but how do you guarantee that like how do you guarantee that we'll see each other in heaven or somewhere in another life and how do you even guarantee that you will still have that same feeling so so basically this whole journey of life how you feel is like a one-time shot you're never going to feel that love you're never going to feel that hate you're never going to feel that experience again so 
So, you know, by us saying that we'll see each other again in heaven or, you know, just so that it's, it's nice to hear, but will, will we recognize each other again? So, I came to realize after everything that happened to my life, up to this point, that, you know, live life with love, live life with peace, and make peace, you know, don't, don't make sadness, don't make hatred, don't hold grudges, because everything in life is an experience, and that experience, um, it's gonna, it's gonna happen only here. So, long story short, guys, um, it always takes losing something or almost losing something for you to learn a lesson in life, and it sucks. It really sucks. Even if you see it happen to someone else, you're like, okay, you know, I feel sad for them, whatever. But until it happened to you, that it always takes something lost to learn that important lesson. And by that time, the time passed, um, you, can't, you, you can't turn back time. You know, and... So, I share the story of the day um, to you guys because I think that it's important for us to hear these real life stories. And these are real life story guys. Like, if you haven't experienced it, good for you, but I'm telling you, one day you're going to experience this. Unless you die before everyone around you, then that's a different story. But um, trust me, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen because that was my wish before to die before everyone I love. And it turned out that what you wish for does not come. And you end up losing people around you. You know, you end up feeling the scary feeling of losing those you love. And have to go through that pain of mourning when you've tried everything to avoid it. So, uh, take my word of advice. Um, from someone who, who was very careless before, who who didn't have any compassion, who was like actually really a bad person. Like, I'm still not any better now, but I was horrible when I was a teenager. Selfish, careless, uh, ignorant. You know, I I never felt these kind of weird human feelings until now. All of a sudden, as I grow older, you know, God changed me into more of like a human, compassionate, loving, mushy, sensitive kind of person that I'm actually feeling these pain that I, I never wanted to feel. So, you know, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a thinking of a person who, who didn't care about anyone or anything before. So, but now I'm telling you guys, whoever you have beside you, um, and usually the one that we love most will be the one that we neglect most because we we always think that they're always there but until you know that you will lose them they will no longer be there but you wake up and you smell the coffee and you cannot do anything but just accept that pain and have to go through life with it. So, but if you um, make your time with them worthwhile, if you um, give it your all, like you you you've done everything with each other, you spend that time with each other, you make beautiful memories. At least there's no regrets that I didn't do this, I didn't do that, because that is going to torment you. And I'm telling you that, and I have so much of that, guys. And you know, looking back now, like I wish I spent more time with Theo. I, I I wish so many things that I could do with Theo, but 
never have I, uh, well, I, I guess I never really prepared myself that he would get sick all of a sudden and so yeah, so learn, learn from, if you're my friends on Facebook or social media or YouTube and you're watching this video guys, you know, um, learn that this is reality, this is life and, and uh, be mentally prepared if you're not, okay, you may not think about it because everything is good now, but don't let until it happen then you know you regret so if you're um, if you're mad at someone today that loves you just pick up the phone and say you know let's make up you know honestly life is so short and unpredictable guys that getting mad at each other does not make you feel any better if anything it makes you feel worse so um I've lost a very special person in my life, so I've learned the feeling of losing a human. I've lost Ellie, I've lost Cookie, and I'm about to lose Theo. So, so uh, if God loves me, um, He'll let me out. Like. He'll let me die first um, next time, so I don't have to experience this again, guys. But um, it doesn't feel great at all. <coughs> so um, trust me when I tell you. They say death is the end. When you die, it's the end, but it's not, guys. When you die, yes, it is the end, but when someone you love or your kids die, then it's not, it's not the end. It's actually um, a very, very, very bad, bad experience that you have to go through as a human, so it sucks. Anyway, um, I thought I I share these um, story of the day, and you know what? Um, seeing Theo and then he passing, and my dad in the hospital, you know, I realized that time is it's not up to us to decide. So if you still have time, if you have the health, do something. Uh, meaningful um, and I guess the way I handle a loss of a loved one or the way I cherish life is to um, workaholic so uh, yeah. I'll let you see Theo And, um, you know, people who follow me or people who like my page will see all of the wonderful people in my life. So, and Theo is one of them. Oh, gosh. Theo has 
has a very big fan on YouTube because uh, those who watch my YouTube videos knows a feel. And uh, we've been getting a lot of uh, caring messages for Theo. So I really appreciate um, all of your prayers. And uh, Theo had a beautiful uh, almost 14 years on this earth. And uh, Theo will be very missed. These are some of my last uh, times with the um, and, uh, Oh! Hi Jessica, how are you? I feel everything you're feeling, Kelly. I was there with my first Australian Shepherd when he passed away a few years ago. He was everything to me and um, aw, thank you very much. Um, I'm sorry to hear about uh, your little boy. I assume it's a boy. Yes, he is. Yeah, he is. Um, my condolences as well. Um, yes, I, I truly agree with you. These are, even though they are furry, furry kids, but they are the best thing ever. You know. Um, and you can see how Theo is like a mama's boy. Um, have you guys seen videos of Theo when I first had him, and throughout this 13 years? You will see he's such a spoiled brat and I spoil him like crazy because he is my uh, first little boy. So, um, yep, Theo's a special one. So, um, thank you for sending loves and prayers. Um, yes, I do. I do try to believe that we'll see our loved ones again, but what I, what I, what I, what I know is that even if we see each other again, will we still feel the same way? Or will we just be seeing each other but we won't remember anything? So, um, yeah. So, um, these are some of uh, a tips for anyone who's having a pet. I know um, pet lovers and even I didn't know this before. So this is or some tips of um, uh, if you have pets, what do you do when they are older? So um, when your pet gets old, um, they will their health declines. So Theo haven't been eating for anything at all for um, almost five weeks, like nothing, and I mean nothing. Like he can't eat. All he can do is uh, drink uh, water. And uh, we've been to the vet. We've we've done everything. And um, Theo has uh, his his legs cannot stand at all. So he would not be able to since he can't eat. He cannot uh, have um, the the energy. And right now Theo is literally like skin and bone guys. And um, he's been going to the washroom like black and if you see these signs like if you see your dog not eating for a couple of days pet owners bring them to a vet because they're not acting up dogs yes they can get mad at you and you know rebel and all that but when they're not eating for a couple of days it's a sign if you're giving them their treats and they're refusing it that's a sign like Theo is very love food like I do and before he would jump whenever he there's food, like his favorite treats. And when he got sick, he didn't want to eat any of that. And it is not normal uh, for a pet to be like that. So uh, signs of you, if your dog is vomiting, if your dog is um, uh, pooing in blood or black, uh, if your dog is not eating for a couple of days, like honestly, bring them to a vet. And um, you can either bring them to a vet or you can Google online. Um, but, um, you know, uh, get them treated. And if they are old and they are uh, suffering, you got to make that hard decision of putting them down. Because, um, and that was the decision that I had to make, is whether 
I make myself feel better to have Theo around so I can touch him and hold him. But in return, he is suffering and he's in pain. Or do I be strong and decide what's best for Theo by putting him down so that he can not be in pain? And I seen that with Cookie. Uh, Cookie was very sick. And uh, Lilo and Maggie have to decide to put her down because she, her life, her life was not, was was not like her life condition was terrible and she was suffering. So, same thing for Theo. Um, we had to make a decision, and uh, I came to accept the fact that I had a great 14 years almost with Theo, and now. As long as he's not in pain, he's not suffering. That is my biggest priority. So as much as I wish time stay still and, and tomorrow would not come so quickly, but um, to us, when we're healthy, um, it's fine. But when you're sick or when a dog is ill, like one day is like a week. So. I don't have, I'm not a vet, but you know, I've learned a lot by having a lot of dogs and um, um, th these are the things that you need to think about when you have a pet. And if you decide to have them um, be strong, I had to learn this, okay? Like I'm, I'm preaching to you this, but I was not like this a year ago. I had to learn this and I had to grow up from my selfish self to realize this and if you are uh, a pet owner, never, please don't ever leave your dog dying without you being there because that's the worst thing you can do to them. As much as, as it will hurt you, as much as you don't want to see them gone or go or leave you, but think for them because in their last moments, they will want to see you and they want you to be with them. So tomorrow uh, morning, I will hold Theo like this in my arms so that he, so that he, so that he can feel safe and he won't have to be scared to wherever he's going. So um, as a pet owner, just be prepared for that day. But in return, you will have years of beautiful memories, joy and happiness and wonderful time with these furry, furry friends um, who becomes your kids without you knowing it. So, uh, I will watch this video again if, you know, if I'm still alive 10 years from now, I, I will watch this video and remember that I had a beautiful little boy, Theo. So, and uh, if one day I die and anyone come across my Facebook page, all of my stories of the day or all of my life experience sharing, um, I heard. I hope someone can learn from that, and you know, and they can see. There were these wonderful people, there were these wonderful pets uh, that lived in my life and made a girl named Kelly, who once lived here, very happy. So, so life is a journey, guys. Um, Alright, so uh, I'm just gonna, it's getting a little chilly, so I'm just gonna bring Theo in. Thank you for listening to my story of the day. Um, I know it's not a happy story, but I guess I do I do these videos because um, I want to share real life stories for those who want to know, want to learn from. And even for me, later on when I'm older, I can sit back and watch these videos that I've made. Alright everyone, so have a blessed night. Thank you for listening to my story and um, stay safe. Uh, 
love lots with your next year loved one. Make sure you cherish your time. Okay, good night, and we'll see you in the next video. Um, tomorrow I will um, I will um, I will share your last moments, and um, if you're if you're thinking of Theo, please give him a prayer. Um, I do believe that pets are pets have spirits. I know there's a mix, you know, opinions on pets and dogs, but he is my little boy, and um, I love him very much. And uh, I want to, the world to know that he is an amazing, an amazing dog, an amazing companion, and you know, someone who's been with me through thick and thin, guys, thick and thin, like everything. So, okay. Thank you. So, I want to thank you all, the uncles and aunties on Facebook, uh, for all of your wonderful, uh, sweet care um, and prayers. Hey everyone, have a good night.